The basic version of Enroute includes a number of the general improvements to Enroute, such as the plate panels and the snap additions, faster redrawing, all that stuff. But there's also a couple of improvements that are new features that have been added into BASIC. The first one is the dynamic nesting tool. That one is one that is a nice way to sort of manually nest objects onto the plate and you can specify things such as the the part offset and the margin and, and the rotational steps and then you're ready to move the object into the plate. You select an object and you notice it's got, got a border that shows up. That includes the offset of the part and then as I move it around it uses the border of the plate as a way to identify the most efficient position for that part. The other thing that you can do once you have the object selected is you can use the mouse wheel to rotate the part based on the rotational steps that you've identified and move it into position. This is just a really handy way to nest objects in a smarter way than just having to manually move them into the position that you want. It keeps the objects from overlapping and, and causing an issue and so you can get things in position the way you want it. You notice that I, I have uh, toolpaths applied here and so you can do it with toolpaths or without toolpaths and so the dynamic nesting tool is really quite handy. Another another tool that's been added to BASIC is the 3D simulation and so with now that I have those in the in the plate I can simulate them and in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little rectangle here that I'm going to use to identify the boundaries of my simulation then when I get into the 3D simulator I can tell it to use that select contour as a mask in this case I'm going to use the material color and I'm going to choose one of the materials I have in a library and I'm going to click OK and material gets created for simulation. Now when I turn it on you can see that I get a nice simulation of of that part and then when I hit play I simulate the cutting of those parts that I just did the dynamic nesting on. One of the neat things in Enroute 6 is that the material has a much more realistic look to it and if you do cut through the plate it shows you that you have cut through the plate and so so this is one of the additions to the basic version of Enroute and something that really makes it easier even for 2D cutting to help you see what you're going to get when you're sending the part to the machine so dynamic nesting and 3D simulation are two of the really fun new things that have been added into basic along with the redrawing and all of the other things, the general enhancements to Enroute, this is something that really adds value for this version.